So hey, what it do, how it be? It's your boy talking into a taser lately. So as of recently, it seems like TikTok is just crammed with jaw dropping stupidity. And today we're definitely not putting it into that because every time you think these kids are gonna learn from a dumb challenge, they suddenly outdo themselves and make a dumber challenge. So without further ado, let's just get right into whatever's gonna make us lose even more hope for our future generation. I'm gonna file my teeth down with a nail file because they are not perfect. I have some ridges and we're balling on a budget. No, my teeth are just icing from just thinking about that. Is this what happens when Instagram filters define beauty? What? Is one of your teeth longer than the other one? I guess it's time to say f it and shave it down and never be able to eat anything sweet, sour, or cold ever again. Because that sounds like a decent trade-off. That was sarcasm. Don't shave your teeth down. Why do I have to say this? <laughs> Brace yourselves. It's a TikTok trend that's making many people cringe. Filing teeth with a nail file. Guys, it's literally working. Wait, let me give myself some vampire teeth now. I thought it was one stupid video. I didn't realize it was an entire trend. Do they not realize this is permanent? <laughs> I cover a lot of stupid stuff, but this is peak stupidity. Okay, for the youth watching this, life hack. Buying vampire teeth is way cheaper than buying crowns to fix the damage caused from you jerry-rigging vampire teeth with a nail file on your real teeth. What are you guys thinking? I'm only 19 seconds into this video and my teeth and head hurts from just picturing the outcome of this. What the f is going on here? This is bad insanity. Just because people do things on social media doesn't mean you should. And dentists around the country are horrified over a new TikTok trend, DIY tooth filing. It's the social media craze that has no. dentists <laughs> gnashing their teeth. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> I feel like I'm, what the, uh oh. I'm sweating from the cringe of picturing what the outcome is here. God, please. Y'all have been isolated way too long when you start filing down your teeth with a nail file. Come on, guys. You know what's kind of annoying? What? The fact that it's 2020 and if you destroy your enamel, it's just gone forever. I mean, I feel like you could just see one of those robot dogs out in the street, but if I destroy my enamel, it's just gone. Like, how have we not come far at all with that? It's just like, oh, if you destroy your enamel, it's irreparable. That's petty. Like, <laughs> why, why, why is it like that? Dentists want to make money. Elon Musk, can you get on that? Because like, I respect everything with Neuralink and everything, but can you make enamel? You can fix it. Fixable enamel. You destroyed your enamel? No big deal. Thank you. I feel like if a normal person heard, oh, someone has been filing down their teeth with a nail file, they, they would want that person evaluated. But now it's just a mainstream TikTok trend. It sounds like a, a really creepy, cringy like scene in like a horror movie. Like imagine like some dudes like isolated in a cabin and then like a light turns on. And there's just a bunch of kids staring him in the eyes, like filing down their teeth. That's like only from a horror movie. What if it was like the Saw movies, but instead the challenges are just TikTok challenges. Like you have to shave down your teeth or lick a public restroom toilet seat or what else is there? Don't don't give any kids any ideas. They're going to start doing like TikTok Saw challenges. Don't do that. Don't ever do that. Please stop. Don't do that. Do not do that. I actually have to give a warning like this in 2020 because dumb shit like this happens. Do not do that. Thank you. <laughs> Only in 2020 do you say a joke and people take it serious. But on that note, enough of that. Let's move on to our next topic. Let's go from uh, jaw-dropping stupid to, well, I guess it's kind of entertaining stupid. And the guys I'm talking about now go as the Voros twins. I feel like we've already talked about how there is more than enough influencer twins already. Definitely after we, we saw the Dobry brothers explain their rap bar, started from the grocery store, now we own a grocery store. I've came to the conclusion that we reach capacity for influencer twins. There's no more demand. There's too much supply. First I say started from the grocery store, now I own the grocery store. Basically that meaning is that Marcus and I we started off the grocery store. Um, if you see our line, that's where we started. And then now we own the grocery store. Now we own the we buy a grocery store. We buy a grocery store. Now, um, basically every grocery store we go to, 
I don't know this guy, so they basically own it. Yeah, because that's how store ownership works. But these twins we're talking about now, they somehow make the Dobry brothers come off like they have PhDs. And I know little to nothing about the Voros twins, all I know is whatever has been gone viral on Twitter recently. But essentially, they're, they're playing an Instagram trivia game, and their answers are so dumb, they might as well just be marketing geniuses. Who painted the Mona Lisa? Oh, Mona Lisa. Oh, yeah, yeah. Da Vinci? <laughs> okay, I can't really tell if they're real or not. Voros twins, are they a figment of all of our imaginations? <laughs> How many days are in a year? It's a lot. I actually don't know. This is so embarrassing. 324. <laughs> Oh, how am I supposed to know? What money is used in Germany? Uh, cash? <laughs> oh. How many milligrams make a gram? A million. A million. Easy. The innermost part of bones contains what? Blood. Blood. Um, blood. It's blood. blood. I know it's blood. Which star is at the center of our solar system? Which star? The North Star. The North Star. Which planet is closest to the sun? We are. We are. It's so hot. A yellow fruit. Uh, I, I don't know. Is there one? Orange. Wait. Uh, oh, oh, there's no yellow. There's no yellow fruit. What is it? A yellow apple. Oh. I feel like the Voros twins are just a depiction of people's last two brain cells after being up for 48 hours straight. But I genuinely am wondering, like, is this real or is this fake? Please let me know in the comments down below. What do you guys think? Do you think they're real or do you think they're fake? Because at this point, I can't tell. Da Vinci or Da Bob for today. <laughs> da Vinci or the crippling anxiety for today. <laughs> Stop. They are the last two brain cells on TikTok, except for the kids filing their teeth. But either way, real or not, kudos to them for the entertainment. So if there's a takeaway from today's video, don't file your teeth ever. There is no need to ever file your teeth. Imagine if one of these kids like filed their tooth down long enough to where it like starts sp like spraying blood out from the tooth. Oh. That would be, um. yeah, my teeth hurt from just thinking of that. That's terrifying. Stop. It's okay to say stupid stuff, but just don't do stupid actions. But stupid is technically objective. So maybe they're actually just geniuses. Yeah, that's true. Not the first one, though. Don't do the teeth filing. But <laughs> maybe we just don't know it, but the Voros twins are like secretly I geniuses. feel like low-key, they're just marketing geniuses. They could be co comedic marketing geniuses. But anyway, drop a like on this video so more people can see it. If you're new here, I welcome you to my channel. It'd be awesome if you subscribe. If you want to follow me outside of YouTube, you can find me as a Tozy on Instagram or Twitter. Links will be down in the description down below. But on that note, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Bitch already want seconds.